guys, welcome back and uh, welcome to my new subscribers as well. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a direct channel with Spirit and we're just going to go into what they want you to know. Um, it will be loosely based around what's going on um, with you and your individual circumstances. It will still work on the strongest mutual energy between you all and I will still use a couple of cards but most of this is going to be linking in with Spirit. Um, I just heard, and this is going to be really, really random, uh, <laughs> one of you has got a massive spot spider in your bath and that you are struggling to <laughs> struggling to get rid of it um they're just saying that the spider's just thirsty um and it, it will kind of <laughs> why are you telling me this they're saying that the spider's just thirsty and it's kind of fallen in the bath for a drink but it will it will um disappear it will go so try not to worry about it too much one of you's got massive fear of a spider and I've just, all i keep hearing is spider in the bath it was like a kid's tv program that we watched when we were little um, you're all going to go check your baths now for big spiders, it's a huge one and it's a bit frightening. Um, it will disappear, it will disappear, it will, it will find a way out. Um, but they're saying it, it was thirsty. <laughs> Crazy what spirit told me. Okay, so we're going to do, now I've gone over that, <laughs> we're going to do deck number one and deck number two, pick a deck. Um, so I'm going to just go into your strongest mutual energies again, see what's kind of going on, see where the energies are, and we're going to take it from there, see what spirit want to tell you, number one, number two. I love the back of that. Okay, let's go. Can you get me into my collective energy of dirt number one, please? So, 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 yeah, we're strongest mutual energy, going to dip into all of your energies, dip into your people's energy, and we're going to pull out the strongest mutual energy. The first thing that Spirit are saying before even pulling the tarot cards is same sea, different boats. Um, now, there's two ways that we can see this. One way of seeing this is the fact that um, all of you are on your individual circumstances, you're all in, in your own you are all in your own separate boats, everyone watching, but you are all on the same sea, you are still having like the turmoil with regard to romance. The other way of spirit interpreting, um, of the way, um, God can't get me words, that's because they're all talking at once. The other way of interpreting that is that you and your person, you are on the same sea, but you are in different boats, okay? So you are going through the same things together, but you are seeing it from different perspectives and you are learning different things um, but you are also going through the same emotions, going through the same ties, going through the ups and the downs, the lows and the highs, regardless of what your individual circumstances are, you are both on different boats on the same sea. Keep that at the back of your mind. Um, okay, can you tell me please, collective energy for number one. Uh, I just got, can you feel, can you feel it? Can you feel um, I don't actually know what song that is, I just know that chorus bit. It's to do with spiritual energy, spirit saying, it's to do with the energy. Um, a lot of you are uh, misplacing your own intuition because you're getting feelings and senses and you're not you're not realising what you're actually picking up on. So spirit saying, can you home into that a little bit more um, and listen to your own instincts, listen to your own guidance. Um, you can you can do that you can do that without me <laughs> i know i know i help you all but you can do that without me so make sure you're listening to your own inner guidance if you don't know how just silence everything turn everything off shut your eyes um, you can do some automatic writing and um, put a white bubble of white light protection around you get a pen and a paper um, don't think try not to think what's coming into your head and just scribble see what comes out it, and you'll get the it'll work through claircognizant which is your thought process so they'll start you'll start thinking something so start writing it and then try and get your head out of it and see what ends up you'll know it's automatic writing because it'll start off dead neat and then it'll go really scruffy at the end i don't think i've got any automatic writing around here otherwise i'll show you some um but you can do that that will also that will help you home in on what you are picking up because a lot of you are kind of suddenly feeling anxious or worried or you're absolutely fine and then you hit with this wave of sadness so a lot of you are picking that up off your other person i'm being told to tell you remember 98 percent of our emotions are not our own so can you return that to sender say return to sender three times we are sponges we pick up people um the other thing is that you are um your energies do need to go clear there's a lot of auras that are um, become a little bit murky some of them have got um a 
little bit fuzzy which is because of light and um, because of confusion and things like that a lot of you have also kind of got these spikes in your auras at the moment spikes are when traumatic situations happen we kind of get these spikes and when we get these spikes that's when attachments can happen because there's a space so lots of energy clearing um spirit saying you can use gold rain uh, imagine gold rain kind of coming down and going all over your aura and take about 10 seconds to do that will clear the energy if you're doing it uh, do it twice a day morning and night um so what we where we're going with this is your person um does know how they feel about you they are aware of how they feel about you um but they are very very frightened and the reasons for these fears is there was a lot of um i just said absolution uh the worrying that things have come to an end majority of you worrying things have come to an end and they've made you've all made your choices you've all made your decisions um and then you're kind of thinking, they are thinking now, well, what's actually going on? Why has this happened? Is this actually what I want? And all of this is going through their head uh, as your collective energy. Um, panicking about it, thinking, shit, what have I done? Um, and you're also thinking that because you're starting to think, well, is this the end? Are we over? I haven't heard from them. Or even if you have heard from them, you're still feeling something is different, a little bit hot and cold. Some of you are wanting to, I know a lot of you, uh, people have been mentioning about weddings and marriage. Um, collective energy is not going to work on because you're all in individual circumstances. There isn't a collective energy on marriage, so I can't run that for a collective. However, those of you that are concerning yourselves with marriage, um, try not to focus on expectation because if you are pushing expectation on the universe and what you like there's a way of manifesting but we say with manifesting you have to release the situation so if you're holding on to it and holding on to marriage what you're doing is pressing pause on it yourself so please just be aware of that try some letting go meditations have a listen to some abraham abraham hicks about releasing situations so you can kind of understand what's going on on a higher frequency and a higher perspective um your person is working it all out in the head. They are still completely muddled. Um, the fears of that they have lost you is kicking in. The fears that they are not good enough is kicking in. A lot of them have got parental issues or issues from childhood where they did not feel that they were good enough. This can even be in teenage years when some of them were quite badly bullied, I'm hearing. There was this complete muddledness in the head and all they really know is how they feel about you. And they're not quite sure how to navigate that situation. They don't know which way to go about it. So they're keeping their guard up at the moment. Um, they're not letting you in. They're not letting you in. Again, all your individual circumstances are of course different, but your strongest mutual energy is saying they're not letting you in. The What they are doing is getting psychic messages like you are, but they are also not knowing how to, to channel or do what they're doing with the messages. So they just get into this big freak out stage Everything that you have been picking up of them is what they are feeling. So if you're suddenly hit with that lowness or you're suddenly fit with that sadness, this is because stuff is going on in their life that is making them feel like that and you are picking up on it. Um, they can see a lot of you, the majority of you have stepped into your Queen of Swords energy. Um, remember, it's never gender specific or sexually orientated, but you're actually feeling quite powerful and strong at the moment. You are on this wave up, down, round, round, going to hit in the bottom of the well, but you're starting to bring yourself up. Um, you will have your days where it goes low and you will have your days when it goes high, but when we give up control and we let go of the trying to control a situation is when the universe can do its job. So keep that at your back of the mind as well. A lot of you, are, Spirit keeps saying, a lot of you are hanging on to expectation and what you want. And there's a way of getting what you want without hanging on to it letting go moving on i tell you that all the time two separate things you know to release a situation means you can let the universe maneuver around it there's a universal law that um we universe can only provide things when there is space created which is why i often say clear out a drawer or clear out a space in your wardrobe and um, as if your person is already in your life because if you clear that space the universe has to fill it with something equal to or better than so they're saying, uh, Spirit Maker is saying to you, can you just try to do some releasing situations a bit more? You're going to ask me, Spirit saying that you're going to ask me how to release situations. Try some meditation and um, try some rituals, depending on your belief. You can Google it all. Um, the ways that I kind of let go is I will write a list of things that I need to release. And I'll go and find a nice bit of nature and I'll go and burn my list or put it in water and let it kind of float away. That's a good way of doing it. Um, just because I like using the elements of earth. Um, I'm, not, I'm not witchy, but I do like using earthly elements. Uh, good old Gaia. You know, so that's a good way of doing it. I do a lot of energy clearing. Um, I do a lot of... 
um, meditations on letting go of situations. I listen to a lot of Abraham Hicks if I'm on a, like, an uh oh. If I'm having a uh oh, bong some Abraham Hicks on. Um, and have a Google because you, you're all going to be at different ways which is going to suit you better. So have a look at doing that. Um, you're standing on the cusp of new beginnings where you're starting to feel more stable. Stability is key with the, you and your person. Um, even though there is love, stability has to come as a second to that, I'm hearing. Um, and at the moment, it feels like there might be in a process of hibernation and you feel like nothing is really happening. But actually, there is a lot going on that you aren't aware about on an energy level, on a universal level, on a spiritual level, and also stuff within the three, third dimension that you aren't sure is going on. Um, and again, spirit saying, listen to your instinct, trust your own instinct on that. Instinct on that. Um, it's like this. There's what's had to happen. Is spirit saying there's had to be this a bit like autumn and coming into winter. The the past has to be has like we go through autumn, don't we? The the plants all die and the trees all all come to a close and end. And then we have winter and it's barren and it's bare. And then come spring, we start to regrow again. And it is a bit of a cycle you are in, but you've got to let it naturally happen. Don't pick the roses before they've had a chance to unfill themselves. You know, a little bit of water, a little bit of love. Um, then they, a lot of them, uh, your people have been quite void of love throughout their life. They don't really know what love is until they met you. And you didn't really, a lot of you didn't really know what love was until you met them. And even then you're still like, well, is it love? What is this? This is crazy. I'm not used to this. Um, love comes in, um, Spirit saying love comes often when we're in the darkest of our hours and we realise there is that light and we realise that there is that hope. And Spirit saying try not to lose hope because when there is love, there is a way. And you are on different boats, but you are on the same sea and you will always end up where you need to be. But you've got to have a little bit of faith and a little bit of trust. Home in on your manifesting, those of you that do it. Those of you that don't manifest, try to release negative thoughts because if you're holding it for 17 seconds or more, you are manifesting it. So you need to destroy and uncreate that thought. Get rid of it. You know, the easiest way to get rid of it is distract yourself, do something that you enjoy. Break the momentum, go to sleep. Um, don't ask your tarot decks over and over and over what the answer is, because you'll get different answers each time. Um, a lot of you, I'm hearing, uh, some of you that are more around my age are having issues thinking, if you haven't had kids, um, I'm starting to get, me, me clock starting to run out because I'm 33 this year. My clock's starting to run out. I'm not going to have a chance to have kids if they don't hurry up. Try to release that energy if you can. That's just society pressure. And, you know, there's all sorts of reasons why, why um, we, when you want a child, there is always going to be a way of getting it, whether it's fostering, whether it's IVF, whether it's you're old enough, whether it's this, that and the other. So those of you that have got fears like that, try to release them. That is just society pressurising you, even if you're in your 40s. You know, even if you're in your 50s, if you want to adopt, you can adopt. There's ways and means around it. So try not to let those of you that are letting that uh, pregnancy side of things and that society pressure get to you, try to release that spirit of saying as well. Um, because that's just burdening you. That's just putting a weight on your shoulders when really it's causing you a lot of heartbreak, I'm hearing. Um, so try not to panic about that. Those of you that aren't worrying about that, this could be issues with your person and children. If they are putting children above you, that is because they're trying to be a good parent. Um, it doesn't matter how much they love you, there's more so fair parties. If they have got kids, um, they will be trying to get what is right for their child. Um, trying to be a good parent to them. So you need to be an allowance of that. Um, not what you would not what you would necessarily want when we want all of this here and now, we want everything to move forward, but you know, they have their own point of view on it and there is no point trying to change it. We can't change people's point of views, you can just be an allowance of them. So those of you that are worrying about the children issues, uh, please try and relax a little bit about it, whichever way it's coming forward to you. Um, also those of you uh, with regard to children, those of you who are moving further down the line and you're thinking, well their children aren't going to like me, there's no point worrying about the future. If you're living in the past, you've got anxiety, if you're li no. If you're living in the past, you've got depression. If you're living in the future, you've got anxiety. You need to focus on the present moment. Until that situation happens, there is no point worrying about it. And that goes on beyond children. That goes beyond all of that, you know? Um, 
it goes beyond those measures where whatever we are doing in our life there's no i know psychics mediums we tap into the future we, we know probable outcomes we work with those probable outcomes i tell you those probable outcomes however when you focus on on that and you you are then causing this anxiety when you're thinking well it, it doesn't look like it's happening and it's not doing this and it's not doing that which is why it's always best to try to release that expectation so it can happen which is why again timers can sometimes be a little bit hit and miss i'm never off with them too far but they can be a little bit hiss and hiss and miss hit and miss because of free will so keep that at your back of mind as well and um, there's been a lot of conflicting energies a lot of you have got anger which is built up spirit is saying it's again it's time to release there needs to be a lot of releasing being done the full moon is coming up clear those energies um, it'll be a good time for those energies and be cl uh, for clearing those energies and be an allowance of the feelings don't try to fight your feelings let them come you are going to rise from the ashes but first we have to burn don't we you know phoenixes never just get on their pretty feathers and fly off phoenixes come phoenixes are born through burning ashes uh, phoenixes are born through burnt ashes yeah that's right that was right and phoenixes rise through fire so even if you get burnt you will still rise again have just trust yourself the key to all of this is self-love release knowing what is your worth is um there is a video linked in all the public descriptions of tools on uh self-love along with the manifesting video so you can watch that remember also to top it all off your person does love you with the two of cups and the queen of cups they do love you remember that no matter what shit you're going through and how hard it is and what's going on and whether you haven't heard from them or whether you're having conflict with them and whether everything's just getting on top of you and you're just feeling like you, you are just in these ashes and you are just burning remember that they love you and when they love you there is always a way it will come round you just need a little bit of faith and a little bit of trust and I know it, I know it gets shattered and I know it's hard um, you know, and always remember that for me to read to the, you the depth that I need to read, I have to experience that everything that you lot have done, every single one of you, I will have experienced what you have been going through. So at 32, that is a really pretty crappy life. But look, I'm still here, I'm still powering through, I still do good, I'm happy, I love myself, I work hard on myself. And it's a living testimony, spirit saying, of what you can achieve when you've got that power to do it. You will find it in the strength. Don't ever feel that you haven't got it. You have, but you've just got to reach inside yourself and pull it out. And it will take time sometimes. But keep that focus on you. Let them get on with it. There will be, they will come back to you if you release the situation and you trust the universe. You will get what you want, but you've got to have that thought process and that allowance of it all. Not trying to control it, give up control, let it happen. Remember that they love you. And that's that number one. Okay, let's do that number two. So can we get into what spirit want you to know? So again, it will work on the strongest mutual energies. Um, anything that doesn't resonate, just remember it because it might pop up later. Um, so, so, so. We're going to work with spirit again, interlinking the energies between the two of you. I work with vibrational frequencies because I'm clear audience. So I have one ear tuned into one frequency and another ear tuned into another. So I have got my guides and then high vibrational energies from the fifth dimension plus in my right ear um so i'm going to see what they want you to know i didn't give a song to deck number one but you are getting a song um you're getting robbie williams angels i'm loving angels instead the song always makes me cry um you are supported you are loved A lot of you do work with angelic frequencies. Um, ask them to help you when you're feeling like you're struggling. Okay, will you please stop worrying what people are thinking? <laughs> you lot are worrying a lot about other people and other people's perception and other people's perspective and even that of your person will you please try to stop worrying about what other people are thinking if it is not fact you don't need to worry about it and most of the time it's just someone's point of view it's not a real factual evidence so again you don't need to worry about it someone's point of view is someone's point of view there's no point trying to change it let them get on with it 
okay? Don't worry about other people. Um, there is a strong link here with, again, like I said, there is an angel angelic presence is a lot um, in deck number two. A lot of you do work with angels. Um, some of you that are trying to do tarot, they're saying, can you please use some kind of angel cards instead? Because what you're doing is you're asking, I, I said this before, you're asking the same question over and over and over and you're getting your knickers in a twist when you're getting different answers. So can you use an oracle deck instead of a tarot deck that will help you out and um, also call on your angels to help um, move it forward. You, a lot of you aren't using the tools that you are given um, to, to move the situations forward yourself. So make sure that you are trusting your guidance, trusting your intuition and trusting um, in the process and asking for help when you need it. You don't have to do it all yourself. That's what spirit are there for there to help us they can do what they can in their power you know but angelic frequencies you'll be at you know there are a lot more they can do a lot more than what spirit can um so what's going on there is going to be a need for action in the upcoming months of you and your person there is action being taken some of you it is in two weeks some of you it will be longer than that um action is being swept forward now some of these actions are going to cause reactions from you some of those reactions are going to be good some of those reactions as your collective are not going to be quite so good try not to bite spirit is saying try not to bite if they say something to kind of push you away and again remember it's just a viewpoint an interesting point of view don't let it eat you thanks for that interesting point of view cheers mate leave it okay um don't worry about what other people think. A lot of your friends are trying to give you advice and trying to help you as well. But again, they are just throwing viewpoints on you. Um, try not to put... They want the best for you, but sometimes the best means that they put judgments on uh, on you and on situations and things like that. And with the best one in the world, with judgments, um, I try to live a very a life without any judgments on anyone. Because judgments just tap us up. They just mess us up, you know? Someone's going, oh, well, you're having an affair and you did this and you did that. Well, it's none of their business anyway, is it? But you, it doesn't matter because everything's different. And unless they are in your situation, their opinion is just a point of view. It's not fact. It doesn't make you whatever they're saying you are. Leave them. Just detach from them. Even if they're family, just take some time out from it, you know? Turn your phone off a little bit. Actually, some of you are being messed up by EMF frequencies as well, electromagnetic frequencies. Uh, can you please put some tourmaline if you've got laptops or phones and things like that? Sometimes I tell it, tape a bit of um, tourmaline to the back of my phone if I'm using it a lot. Uh, some of the frequencies don't affect us and that's affecting your sleep as well spirit is saying so where we're going with this there is a need for action your people are watching your social media um which is cool there is nothing to actually say other than that i was gonna i was trying to get some more from spirit on that but they're saying that they are checking up on social media even if you haven't got social media um sorry even if you think they haven't got social media there is a way that they can check up on you even if they've got you blocked or you've got them blocked there is always a way don't let earthly constraints get in the way of what what they are doing and um, there is a heart-centered energy within these emotion uh within <laughs> There is heart-centered energy and emotions with you and your person and they are going to be acting on that which is these actions um, that are going to be stepping through. Now remember with love there also becomes passion and then the passion can get very intense and that can turn it into arguments which is why Spirit is saying just be careful, think what you say before you say it, don't bite on reaction. That's not all of you, some of you will hear exactly what you want to hear, but those of you that they kind of push away or they don't tell you too much, try not to react. Don't push them for emotions or their points of view. Again, try to stay away from that. Let them come to you. Let them tell you. Don't push them for it. Um, you're going to be going into quite a victorious few months. Uh, come June, things are going to start picking up for this deck. It feels quite positive. Um, there is still going to be fears. There is still going to be situations going on. Um, a lot of you are having nightmares as well. Again, that is connected with the EMF, the electromagnetic frequencies. Can you please put tourmaline under your pillow also and some rose quartz to clear the energies out? Um, but you will be going through a bit more of a successful time. I said in deck one, it, a lot of the time with the seasons, it changes, doesn't it? This full moon that is coming up is going to be quite a hefty one. There is going to be a lot that is brought to clear. So just ride with those energies, ride with those emotions, try not to fight them, let them... Um, in, out, out, let them out, feel them, breathe them in, feel what's going on in your body and then try and push it out for your feet and turn it into a white light as it comes to the floor. Keep grounded, 
as well I'm hearing a lot of you with the spiritual connections um, you're going to be getting a few headaches even a few of you watching this have got a headache now so just put both feet on the floor imagine plant roots coming all the way down into the centre of the earth two big hooks hooking right into the core earth's core keep grounded um, you're going to be going through a victory you are going to be going through a better time there are going to be choices and decisions that are made um, and they are going to have a good a good impact on your future it's just the here and now is a little bit of a struggle um, you need to keep keep strong keep motivated keep focusing that energy back to you um, you are on top of your game I know a lot of you aren't feeling like that at the moment um, and you are feeling sad and you are feeling like oh god how much longer Ali how much more can I do this and um, you can you can do it you just got to keep putting one foot in front of another I always say to people if you can't get through the next hour well the next day get through one day at a time if you can't get through one day get through one hour and if you can't get through one hour get through five minutes and then get through the next five minutes and then get through the next five minutes break it up into bite-sized chunks so you can work through it um, it is going to get better and it is getting better quicker than what you think it is but you've just got to ride where you are at the moment ride the emotions ride the waves and um, choices and decisions are coming your person is stepping up stepping up and upping their game there was two messages coming in at the same time then um they're talking about they are saying that i walked it i was in a, a shopping center yesterday and i walked past this shop and there were plates in it and it said tower 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 all every single plate said tower and i was like oh god there were tower moments happening everywhere i wondered why i got that i wonder why i saw that but it makes sense now they just show me a clairvoyant of it there are towers happening everywhere at the moment and we all know once that tower happens yes nobody likes the tower card everyone freaks out about it because everything falls apart but when it falls apart it gets to be rebuilt you know everything is being rebuilt at the moment you are in this transition phase you are from the butterfly no you're not you're from the caterpillar you're through going through the chrysalis and it's gonna hatch into that butterfly as spring and summer comes along for the majority of you so keep focus keep your vibration high do what makes you happy focus on you easiest thing to do in life is do what makes you happy regardless of anyone else's point of view it sounds quite selfish but hey how if your person is selfish you can be selfish too do what makes you happy there's no point living a life for other people you know if you're living a life for people um, and you are unhappy you really got to make turn that energy around because you are the only person who is responsible for your own life and you are the only person who is responsible for your own happiness just so keep strong keep going keep moving one foot in front of the next do some retail therapy um, and focus that energy back to you it's gonna shift it's gonna move sit tight just heard a pendulum fasten your seatbelt spit drum and bass in there for your party music <laughs> alright guys uh, if you want to book a private reading email Mr. at gmail.com my waitlist is currently on about 16 days I am trying my hardest to bring it down that's why I am a bit quiet on YouTube so please bear with me at the moment as I'm plowing through then getting everyone's out obviously I have to prioritize those that people that are paying me uh, single questions are being returned in 24 to 48 hours uh, what else have I got to tell you I think that is about it um, yeah so just email me if you want a reading everything's in the description and I'll speak to you all soon. Look after yourself. Take all my love and take all the spirits love. Take all you, your loved ones on the other side. Um, take all their love as well. Um, and also quickly, one of you has lost a brother. Um, and I've lost a brother as well. But there was a brother that has not that has recently passed. He's brown hair, died in a car accident. Uh, it was kind of like a motor. It feels like it might have been a motorbike car collision. Brother has passed a spirit. Can you? And if it isn't any of you, there is a link with someone that has the energy. Can you let them know that he's okay, please? Feels like the name began with a D, um, and if that isn't, it could be. I'm hearing like Duncan or David, something along those lines. If it isn't that direct person, that will be the linkage, okay? But the brother is okay. He's okay. Hit his head when he hit his head when he died. Car, motorbike, hit his head. Something like that. Bash tree. Possibly a tree was involved in as well. Okay, pass the message on, please, whoever that's for. Okay, lots of love to you all. Take care. Bye.